I like to engage with any stakeholder that brings value to the table. Uh, this is what is required of us, both constitutionally, but it's a logical thing to do for us to minimize any misunderstanding. Um, I really do think without underestimating where the, dis the, the dissent may come from, is really not a critical um, set of people, so it will be very easy to get a conversation going with them and be able to explain it to them if they have any specific issues that we want, uh, they want clarified. I must say, and perhaps this through the media, it's always very useful for the media to also share information that is accurate. I have been disturbed this week in seeing that um, we seem to actually be exaggerating what we think the Cuban doctors may be paid or not paid. And it's a conversation which, again, if we take it as a one-sided conversation, we miss the bigger good for the, for the country called Kenya and for the desperate uh, Kenyans who require to be served and served through quality health care. Uh, the Cuban doctors, I have said it to the media before, I'll perhaps will just reiterate, are specialized doctors. We need to begin there as a fact of the matter. They are coming to complement what our own specialized doctors, who are not enough, are doing in the country. Important to note, like the specialized doctors in Kenya are going to be paid within the range of Group S. Group S is not 800,000 shillings, as has been the case. These doctors do not in any way pose any threat to our own specialized doctors. Indeed, they are a resource that comes to do two things, in my view. One, support in the service delivery, particularly in the hard-to-reach areas. And here is a reason that the governors have embraced them. All the CECs in the counties responsible for health delivery have embraced them because they see value. But number two, we are taking on these doctors also as part of our mentoring and capacity building responsibility as a ministry jointly with the governors. So they will be coming and mentoring our own doctors in the locations where they will be based. And it is important for us not to see some of these issues as threatening the status quo. They are value adding, and I would want to urge the professionals in this sector to view it in that context.